Here's a little bit of a strange use of Olix2, but some of you might find this useful. I've got a structure, it's in P21, it doesn't really matter, but I can save this as file um, ex for export dot x, xyz. There we go. So it's now exporting the sucro structure as an xyz file. Now I can import this into another structure. Let's first put this on control copy. So I'm copying this file and I'm heading over to another structure, which is in a different space group. Um, one day I get this right. There we go. CO110. And um, I can now paste this file in here and go import frag. And I can now import this example file from before into this structure. So it's a completely different space group. And I can move this about as well with shift and the left mouse. I can move this into any position I like. And of course, there's now going to be a lot of crystallographic errors. That's to be expected. Um, we just type um, clear and that gets rid of the output text. But the nice thing is you can now save this as file um, coex whatever dot x y z so i've now saved this as this structure regardless of the space group and if i open this uh, construct this fake construct here in olex2 then i will find both of those uh, in here and of course you can do with this what you like you can even write something like uh, file um, co110 ex dot sif so this will output this structure as a as a sif file which of course is not a crystallographic sif file but if you need a sif file of something like this then olix2 can help you uh, making such a thing if this is what you need of course the information here is now based on the original structure and, and is not altogether useful but uh, the the coordinates are in here in this particular space group Okay, I hope this is useful for some of you. Thanks for using Olix 2.